Hey everybody, it's Joe here from Style You by Joe. I'm in the kitchen today, which means I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to try my first attempt at making a bone broth. Um, and there's a lot of benefits about a bone broth or bone stock that I will get into once I start this, but let's get going. So, a bone broth. You can use chicken bones, you can use beef bones, or you can use fish bones. Now, the fish and the chicken I don't roast, but if you were making a beef bone broth, I would roast them in the oven for about half an hour to 45 minutes. That's gonna deepen the flavor of the stock itself. Um, it's gonna make it just a little bit more richer. So, I'm gonna be using two to three pounds of the chicken bones. I'm gonna be using two chicken feet. I'll get into that later. I'm gonna be using an onion quartered. I'm gonna be using two carrots two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna be using five garlic cloves, sea salt, peppercorns, and anise, star anise. So, I got my chicken, oops, don't have the scissors. I got my chicken from Goose Lane Farms, which is local here to Sinking Spring. Um, it comes frozen, it comes vacuum sealed, so I'm just going to dump that right in. My two chicken feet, throw that in. Two carrots. An onion. Now here's the tip, of the, the tip for the onion today. I'm going to cut off the bottom so I have a nice flat surface. But here is the root part of it, which I'm going to leave intact. So I'm going to slice that in half and then quarter it. Quarter. Just place those in. Now, the reason I did leave the root together was because it'll be easier to fish it out. I also had, happened to have a chicken carcass from Giant, which I had for dinner the other night, so I knew I was making this. So we're just gonna shove that right in there. Get rid of that. So here are my garlic cloves, and I'm just going to give it a smash, throw them in, throw them in. I have a teaspoon and a half of coarse salt. I'm gonna dump that in. I have two bay leaves. I have three of the star anise, and I have some whole pepper clove or peppercorns. Um, my spices I get come from uh, Penzies. I think of how to pronounce it. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> um, when I do get the bay leaves, they come in a bag. I put them into an airtight container just so they keep a little bit longer. Throw that in. Now, we're going to use two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And that's actually going to help extract the minerals out of the uh, chicken bones, which is what we're really going after today. One. Two. That in and now we are just going to fill our crock pot with water. Two cups. There's four cups. There's six cups. I 
think eight cups will do it. like nine cups would do it. So we're going to set that on low. And that's going to cook for 10 hours. So now let's talk about bone broth and, and what we did there. Bone broth is really one of those uh, medical foods. It actually helps support your immune system. It helps heal your gut lining, which promotes good bacteria. The collagen from the chicken feet, yes, use them. They're funky, but the collagen helps support um, the collagen growth in your face so your eyes don't sink in, the wrinkles don't come in. But collagen also fights cellulite. <gasps> So what's promoting good fat, good filling in here takes away from some of this bad that we don't want in here. So this is going to cook for 10 to 12 hours um, on low. You don't want it to boil. When it's done, you want to make sure to strain this. A, because we threw the onions in, shell and all, we threw the um, garlic and shell and all. We've put in the pepper cloves or the peppercorns, um, the bay leaf, so we want to strain that all out. But the vinegar, like I said, is going to help break down the bones, pulling the minerals out, but we also don't want bone chips in there. What are we going to do this with this then? Well, you can drink it just so, and a lot of people have been doing it. Again, I, I went over the list of benefits for it. It really seems to be one of those superfoods. But you can also use it for chicken stock. Say you want to make uh, some sort of soup, you could do that. Um, if you want to use risotto, make risotto, you could use it for that. But you can also freeze it. Now, if you freeze it and put it in an airtight container, it will leave in your your refrigerator freezer for a month, or I'm sorry, for six months. Try and put it towards the back. If you have a deep freezer, you know, the, the professional grade freezer, it'll stay in there for a year. Again, use an airtight container in your refrigerator. I wouldn't leave it for more than a week. So the best way to freeze it. I personally like an ice cube tray. You can measure it out, stick it in, freeze it from there. Just throw it in a bag. Keep it in your freezer. Keep it towards the back. It'll stay. This tray came from the dollar store. Two trays for a dollar. You could freeze it in something like this and then just scrape out or cut out what you need. Again, the dollar tree, a dollar. But if you don't even want to go that route, a recycled container, Pour it in here, keep it in the back of the freezer. Again, scrape out what you need. Folks, I, I keep saying, you know, this all the time. Being stylish, it's not about what you wear, it's about how or how you look. It's also about how you take care of yourself. This is an organic soup. Um, the chicken carcass from Goose Lane Farms in Sinking Spring. It was $5 for that. It's $5 for a huge bag of chicken feet, so you can freeze those off. Like I said, I use two, so you can wrap them, freeze them in packets of two whenever you want to make this, you can do that. The carrots I had here at the house, the garlic I had here at the house, um, the spices which I use for, for other things from Penske's, they were here at the house. Yes, it's an initial investment when you buy it, but cooking at home is so much healthier. It's taking care of yourself so much better than buying it out. Folks, stay stylish. Again, it's a simple recipe that I made for the chicken stock that you can use for a great number of things. Stay stylish. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.